Never claimed to be an expert. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited today. I'm talking about e.l.f. brushes. The 11 piece silver brush collection. Just ignore my hair, I'm getting my roots done today. If you've seen my videos before, I am not a beauty guru, so this is going to be to see how like beginner friendly these brushes are. I will say that I have the like, should have brought it with me, but like the e.l.f. foundation brush. I don't know which one it's called, but just like they're like foundation brush and I don't like it. I don't like it. It's really streaky. So yeah, that's the only thing. But I'm really excited about this. It comes with all different kinds of brushes in a little bag. I'm shaking this way. I'm gonna jump right in and see what we think. So this is the pouch it comes in. It's really like thin, very travel friendly. It's like, I think it says what it is, hold on. It doesn't, it just says it's a convenient zipper case. But it seems like it would just, like you could wipe anything off of it if you got it on. The little zipper says elf. And we'll open her up. Okay, so it has a little booklet that tells you what the brushes are. And we don't need that. And yeah, so this is what it looks like. Want to open it up. So I'm gonna, you know, look at this to see what brushes I should be using. I'm excited because I've been wanting some like eyeshadow brushes, so I feel like I can do a little bit better. Also got these two palettes from ColourPop. So this is the Gimme Butterflies and the Double Entendre. So they look like. I'm not doing anything crazy, honestly, but I'm gonna try out one of them. Be purpley, kind of bright. Or we've got the, I need a mirror. Double entendre. It's like a mirror. Big freaking mirror. Thank you, makeup revolution. Eyeballs first. So I think I'm gonna go with a double entendre palette instead. I didn't get any primer, so I'm just gonna, ooh. We're going to use the concealer brush to put this on my eyelids. Shades is a little light, but be okay. A little goes a long way. So it is really nice that it says down here what, if you can see that, if it's focusing. Focus what the brush is. So that's nice. Seems a little big for here and it's like, it's not very stiff, but we'll give it a go. I think I forgot to say, but I typically just use a, the Real Techniques sponge for like concealer, foundation, all that jazz. Next, let's go in with, oh, whoops. I was supposed to use a blending blush, blending brush. Oops. Oh well, can't go back now. So we're either gonna use the eyeshadow sh eyeshadow C brush or the blending brush. Let's compare and contrast the blending brush, which probably would have been a little bit better. But that feels pretty nice. Okay, or the I bet this is it eyeshadow C brush to go in. This one's a lot stiffer, so I'm gonna use this one to go in with, this is the blending brush, to go in with our first color, Sending Noodles. This isn't a tutorial, I don't need to, ooh. Well, I'll kick back there. I'm just gonna kinda like blend it into the crease, cause that's what everybody else does. Color's a little bit more orangey than I thought it would be. So I kind of feel like I would like this to be more like the concealer shape, but smaller because it's, since it's like, you know, not round and just more this way, left and right, I feel like it, you know, I'm not making any sense. Like it feels fine, but it just, I don't know. I don't know. Next, let's just go in with, this is really messy, nip slip. Let's get a different brush. I the crease brush. Let's see what that one looks like. I feel like maybe this is what I should have used. Let's just, let's just like see how that feels. I feel like that feels better. It's more, let's just add a little bit. It's more, the other one was more stiff, whereas this one's not. So it just, 
just feels like it gets it a little bit better. Now let's take the C brush, just kind of like pack it or just put it in the corner. I should have put locked and loaded all over my lid, but it's too late now. I've tried all three brushes. So now I'm just gonna use my fingers. I feel like I'm missing a brush like this. This is the wavy 216 makeup forever brush. I don't know, but just like a more smaller precise brush so that you could like take a color and put it more, you know, like in an area versus these are both, this is like more flimsy and these are both just so big. I mean, I'll tr let's try this one. This is the blending one. I just want to take a darker color and like deepen it up a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Gosh, this Sin Nudes color kicks so bad. I mean, look at like it's all over the brush. Uh, can you see that? Like that's that's crazy. Very messy. Don't like that. Okay, this got out of control. I have no idea what I did. So now I'm just going to take one of them said perfect for lining. So that's this one. Maybe not quite what I'm going for, but I'm going to just put some color on my bottom lid. Oh, okay. I don't like this. That hurts. I'm going to go in with this brush instead. Mascara on now because I feel like everything looks more normal. Didn't do a great, like an amazing look here or anything, but overall so far, I'm gonna try this with my concealer. Didn't like it on my eyes that much, but I think it, what did I say? It said to use like one of these two. I really, really like the crease brush, the blending brush, and the eyes out shadow C brush. I both liked this one. I could felt like did really good putting the color there, and I don't really know what to do with this one, but this one's fine too. This angled, small angled brush is absolutely awful. It is the devil. It is so hard and it's like there's for your eyes there's just not enough there and it just is like pokey and it hurts so I probably won't be using that again but these three I really like I just still feel like the little set is missing a smaller smaller brush this eye in the corner is lighter than this eye but we're just gonna go with it moving on to foundation like I mentioned I had that one foundation brush and I didn't like it but this one says the powder brush, apply blend or contour cream or liquid foundation, pressed or loose powder, bronzer and blush products evenly. That my friend would not be this brush. That would be this brush. Ooh, and it comes with this. I like these cause it just helps to keep whatever you have it in clean. So I'm gonna try this for my foundation. I feel like it's not stiff enough, but I like the top. Maybe not. It's really soft. And I'm just gonna apply. I'm just gonna apply some powder to my face first. I just gonna dust this on my forehead. And in the T zone. Foundation, the Peach Perfect by Too Faced. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. I usually use like half a pump, maybe a full pump. So hopefully I won't have to use the full ton but we're just gonna pop it in there and I'm sure let's fall asleep hold on emergency Woo! There we go and here we go maybe I should have dotted it on my face but I kind of don't know what to do here should I stipple should I swirl hey what the hell okay I'm surprised. We need more though. So I was just thinking that the Real Techniques one, sponge, while I really like it, it cannot be good for the environment. You know, throwing away those sponges. And so I was like, I need a replacement. And I saw the Tati Beauty Blendy Full that was just released. And I was like, hmm, maybe that. And I've thought about looking at like eco sponges, but I am honestly shocked. This is way better than I thought it would be. The other e.l.f. one was really, really streaky. It was a lot like more packed and dense, whereas this is a little bit more like flimsy, Oops, which I didn't think would be good, but I'm no expert. 
and there's a reason for that. This applied really well. It's not streaky. The only thing is, and this is why I tend to stay away from brushes for my foundation, is it, I feel like it emphasizes, it creates texture. Like I feel like my pores don't look as good as usual and I've kind of got a dry patch here. And so that looks worse. Let me go grab the sponge and kind of go over it and see. So I just looked in the mirror, other than like a little bit more texture than usual on my pores in this dry spot, it actually looks really good. So I'm gonna, oh wait, there's still a little bit of foundation on here. So I'm gonna take this. This is like a damp sponge and kind of just go over that. I don't know, this is like a spot that is just really dry. So we might just have to ignore it and move on with our lives. It might have done that anyways with the sponge because you know my skin's just weird. So now we're gonna go conceal. Little dot there, little dot there, little dot there. Then, because that's too light, I'm gonna take this guy, just go over it. Just go over it and just go over it. I have never used a brush for concealer. I'm nervous. I just, I don't even know what to do. Okay. Like, do I dab, dab, dab? Do I just, what do we do here? Okay, so it worked better than I thought, but I do feel like I prefer a sponge because the sponge kind of helps add a little bit of moisture. And I feel like my skin is looking oddly dry. I think I just prefer a sponge for that. It just feels a little bit more natural to me, but it's not bad. Moving on though, to the blush brush. This is what I have, oh, I don't have it with me. I use something more similar shaped to this for like bronzer, but we can try this for blush and we'll use it. No, like this seems too big for bronzer to me. Cause this is the complexion brush which it says blush or bronzer but it really says across the entire face so kind of means that you don't have a bronzer brush we'll try it and then we'll try the blush brush with it this is it just seems too big to me i just feel like this is just too messy so let's go in with blush we'll try this i don't like that either for blush mm -mm. No, no, mm -mm. that one actually looks okay. Maybe we'll use this to like highlight, but I feel like it would go real good like this. So let's give it a shot. It just feels weird. Let's just dust that off and go in with a little highlight. Yeah, I don't like this kind of highlighting brush. This is what I prefer for a little bronzer brush. This is the Makeup Forever 156 wavy, whatever that means. And this is the kind of brush that I like for highlighting. And this is the 140. I just, I just like it better over this fan nonsense. Like this one is tapered. So I'll like, kind of just use that on my nose real quick too. It actually didn't look as bad as I thought it would when I went in the bathroom to get this and could like really look in the mirror. But they're just, these two, these three just aren't as comfortable for me. This is totally fine for like all over, just like setting powder or something. I don't love it as a bronzer, but I could use it as bronzer because it didn't look bad. It's just, it's not as precise, um, but just for dusting away powder and stuff, it's fine. This I'd probably tr use more as the bronzer brush. I don't like it as a blush brush. I know I have seen people use ones like this, but I just don't like it. It just felt kind of weird to me. I use a bigger brush, I should say. This thing, I don't like it. I don't know what to do with it. It just is awkward to me, but that's just me. I did really like this powder brush floor foundation. I was actually very pleasantly surprised. Lastly, I forgot to put on eyebrows. Um, it did come with this guy. So brush it them brows. Yes, ma'am. And this, but I don't have any brow pomade, so we can't use that. So I'm just put my eyebrows on real quick. This is a little rough for me. 
Um, so that is it. As a recap, I think that overall this really is a good starter set for someone who is like me and is a beginner and doesn't really know what they're doing. I think it's great. I don't think you'll get use out of all of the brushes. Like some of those really, the smaller ones are just too like stiff and hard and pokey and painful. But overall the bigger brushes, except this is not one, I do think are really useful and beginner friendly. I would recommend it. Like I said, I if you like a fan brush, then this is fine. I just don't like a fan brush. They're just kind of awkward to me. But other than that, I do think that I will get use out of everything except this guy. See, it was Pokey, the small angled brush. The rest of them, I do see myself using. Whether I'll have to continue using just some of my other brushes, yes. But again, overall, for a beginner, I would recommend this set. It's really nice that it comes with this little uh travel kit and you can stash your own brushes in there too i think it's a good value the brushes are good they feel good it's vegan and cruelty free which is always fantastic they're really i didn't even talk about it they are very very lightweight they don't feel expensive like i'll be honest they they feel like kind of cheap just with the handles but it's lightweight so it's more travel friendly and i like how it says which i think all brushes do but it says what it is like it doesn't give you a number like these guys do 156 like what does that mean like it tells you oh powder brush so that way you can kind of be like okay i know what i'm supposed to do with this guy but yeah that is it we're done i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell that way you're notified whenever i post a video i try and be here fridays at 6 p.m est and thank you guys so much for watching hope to see you next time bye I think I'm blind because I just can't see anything. Everything's on my, on my brushes.